It's Thursday afternoon and we have a dance showcase today called Intention Showcase that we've been practicing for the past eight weeks. And today's the big day, today's performance day. Um, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take you guys through all of that. And right now I am heading to the gym. So I am on the way to Pendrith Anytime Fitness. Now I've never trained there before. Um, hopefully I can sneak you guys in with my workout. I'm gonna just hit a little bit of chest. So performance starts at 7 p.m. We have to get there a little bit early just to you know, set everything up, go through our positions, practicing and everything. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's exciting stuff. But first, I need to get in a quick gym session. I think I have about 30, 30 minutes um, where I can fit in a workout because I need to get there. I need to get to the venue at 2 p.m. and it's about 1.30, 1 20 p.m. right now. And the gym is 20 minutes away. But I'm super keen, Pendred Anytime Fitness. Now, I've had, I got a water bottle, I've got some water, I've stayed hydrated, and I got this, which is the new V Refresh Green Apple Lemonade flavored energy drink, sugar-free. And I really like this. The reason why I like this is because it just reminds me of Rich Piana's 5150, the flavoring. Um, one thing I loved about Rich Piana's pre-workout was that it tasted amazing. Sour apple, it was so good. Apart from the 500 fucking milligrams of caffeine, which was insane, and I was young, I was double scooping that shit. Now that I know not to do shit like that, but <clears throat> that's why I like this energy drink. I've just had a fresh cut, if you can't see. And yeah, I'm, I'm super keen for this. I don't know if I've said this before, but I've been doing this thing, and I think I watched, I watched this on one of Christian Guzman's videos where he gets a haircut every week, especially when he's cutting. And that's sort of like, it's a dopamine hit. I feel like I train better, I feel better when I, I look fresh. And you know, if there is something that you do, there is something that makes you feel good, train harder, why would you not do that? You know, it just makes, it makes sense. So I'm about, I'm exactly 19 minutes away and that's when I, I'm gonna open this can, I'm gonna sip on this can. So by the time I get to the gym, I'll be slightly buzzing. So that can of energy drink has the standard 160 milligrams of caffeine. And that's a lot for me. I've been caffeine cycling, so, which means I don't take caffeine every day. Um, when I train in the morning, I don't have caffeine. I feel normal, I feel good, like stretching, warming up, getting into the weights, wakes me up and gets my dopamine up. But there are days where I feel like I need caffeine and today's a day where I need caffeine. So I know today's gonna be a day where I need more than one can of energy drink. So I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna have another can of energy drink before the performance because I will need it. It is intense performance. So I'm in two dances. The first dance is, it, it's, it's intense. It's a lot more intense than the second one. So I'll need my energy because it's straight after. So after my first performance, I have another, like I have one performance gap where I'm not performing and then I have to go straight back on and then that's it. So I'm super keen for that and I'm super keen to take you guys through my day today as a bodybuilder. I really like getting, another thing, in the performance, I am a vegan bodybuilder. So that's, I know it's a bit ironic, um, but yeah, there's a part where someone, I'm, I'm part of the cool guys and I'm supposed to be a vegan bodybuilder. And in one of the voiceovers, one of the girls mentions me and um, refers to me as Mr. Vegan Bodybuilder. And I think that's pretty cool. I like that. I like being called Mr. Vegan Bodybuilder. I think it's hot. So I just finished training chest and as you guys saw, really quick workout. This is the first time I'm having like a proper sesh since I recovered from being sick. I don't know what I got. When I went to Adelaide in my last video, I was complaining about <clears throat> my muscles hurting. Um, I wasn't sure why, even when I was training triceps, my chest, everything was hurting. The reason being, I had some sort of viral infection. It wasn't COVID. Um, I thought it was COVID, but it wasn't. And yeah. I was completely dead. 
for at least four days. And this is my first session, like first proper session back. So I started off with um, the fly machine because I just wanted to get some blood pumping into my chest. I didn't go all out. I probably performed that like maybe RPE of seven, six, six to seven, not intense at all. Um, but yeah, I started off with around three sets of 15 on the fly machine. And then I went on to a flat press machine and I did three sets of about 10 reps on that. And then I finished off with cable flies, three sets of 12 to 15. A really simple, I just wanted to get my you know, muscles moving again. Um, I didn't want to push myself too much because like I said, I hadn't trained in a while and I was still sort of recovering from being sick. I didn't want to push myself, plus I have a performance today. And I'll be using my chest and shoulders in my performance as I will show you. Because I'll be doing some sort of handstand trick, I'll be doing the splits. So I don't want to push myself too much. I don't want to be sore during my performance. And yeah, quick little workout. I, I actually really like that gym. Pendure at any time. It's big. It didn't look big from the, from the photos, but it's actually pretty massive. So I was pleasantly surprised with the size of the gym. Now I'm heading to the, the venue. Um, I'm a bit late. I was supposed to get there at 2 p.m. Getting there around 2.25 p.m. It is what it is. We had to get in our workout. Um, and yeah, because I knew that once I started practicing, there's no way, there is no way that I can, you know, train at an optimal level. Uh, I'm sweating so much, man. I don't know why I'm sweating so much. It's so humid today. Like if you can see in the clouds, it's, it's gloomy, but it's still so hot. And I hate that. I'll need to have a nice shower. That was my workout. My chest feels good. And yeah, I didn't want to push myself too much. Quality over quantity. Like you have people training two, three hours, but it gets to a point where they're just doing junk volume, which is like, it's counterproductive at that point. You're just wasting your time. You want to be effective. You want to be quick. Even when I train with my coach, workouts go for like 30 minutes max. Yeah, not even 30 minutes, 20 minutes sometimes. And I feel so dead afterwards. And, and I'm still resting properly between sets. So it, go, it goes to show quality is more important than quantity. And just because you're training for a long time doesn't mean you're being intense with your training. I probably won't eat for a while after this just because I don't want to eat before you know rehearsals. I'll probably fit in a meal around 4 p.m. Performance is around 7 p.m. That gives me a lot of time for the food to digest and whatnot. Um, I had a meal this morning. I had four slices of protein bread, which is around 40 grams of protein. Yeah. Um, and I had some chocolate hazelnut spread, pa Pana chocolate hazelnut spread on top. Um, just because I knew I needed the carbs today. I need the energy. I need the carbs. I couldn't. I, I usually do go fasted um, just because like if I eat too much before dancing or dance performance, I feel sick. But... I knew that I had a lot long time for my food to digest, from eating my food to rehearsals. So I had a nice little meal in the morning. It filled me up and I still feel full, honestly. Even after gym, I still feel pretty full from that meal. So it's doing its job and I still feel energetic somewhat. <sighs> I feel like that energy drink, like usually it does something. I feel hyped up, but I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel much. So, yeah, hopefully the second one that I have, they'll really amp me up a little bit. Maybe it's because I haven't been hydrated. I got a water bottle, like I said, so I need to make sure that I'm drinking lots of fluid because I am sweating a lot. So, yeah. This is it. We are at the venue. It's actually a pretty big venue. I like this venue. It's nice. No. Boys room. Oh, no. Fuck. Boys perfect. Room. Yeah. Oh, perfect, bro. Place to rehearse. Oh, it has a mirror as well. Amazing. Ra, bro, you're in my video. <laughs> this is where we can practice. 
what do you say to Hassan? This guy is an amazing dancer. He is from, where are you from? Again? I'm from Hyderabad. From Hyderabad. This guy is an insane dancer. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Not bad. Shower, this shower, so yeah, bro, I will definitely need to shower because I'm fucking dead after that workout. I will definitely need to shower. <laughs> you always do, bro. You always have all the fruits and snacks. <laughs> One good thing is, best food is right next door. So, yeah. I, if you're hungry, we have time, right? Like, after the initial rehearsal, yeah, until the performance. I mean, they, the studio people are providing some food too, but I don't know. Is it like... No, I would, I would, I'm not going to eat it, for <laughs> sure. So. Can you find the way out? Because it's a fucking maze, bro. <laughs> it actually gives. I mean, you have a dining place, so if you want to eat anything. I talked to him in Telugu, no? so the slang which I hear his voice is different. So I was hearing one of his uh, reels. He was like, fuck this aunties, bro. I was like, oh. Wait, what did, I, what did I say? Fuck this aunties, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Fuck this aunties, bro. He was doing a military press. Yeah, yeah so military some, military lady, some girl was doing some aunties were commenting and uh, uh, he's doing this and he drops it. Like, fuck this aunties, bro. <laughs> he came all the way. Like, you got taller by the women. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you. Yeah. Huh? That's a good question. I'm tired. I can't yeah. wait for this to be over. The but real also... question is how that guy feels. Um, he doesn't feel great. Yeah. You know what? Hey, let me explain. Yeah, explain, explain. I've been doing all this shit for him. What is this bullshit? Positions. Positions. Um, music. Music. Bloody hell. Dubbing. Voice dubbing. That was all me, bro. My voice that I use, it's not even my voice. It's that was... Nikhil. But all using my laptop, my shit. Was it your mic as well? No, it was Rare's mic. Oh. <laughs> Just want to say hi guys. Welcome to Attention Showcase. We are going to be vlogging this entire series because it's we have day. nothing it's better not to do. It's a day. It's not a series. Oh, it's one day. sorry guys. We're going to be vlogging the entire day. Half a day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the full day because I've been vlogging since this morning so I've, 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 this is what identifies us guys please raise your hand if you haven't received it and your name has been called and we're going to put it Pranav's, on our Pranav's being anal and we're going to put it on our feet because someone has a foot fetish I think it's best you stay away from the four choreographers because they'll be stressed as fuck today I actually don't give a shit they no. can deal with my dude come on let them they have so many things on their mind you have to be considerate <laughs> I was waiting for you to come and I was like, oh my god, when am I going to come? And then we went to go get food. Can you tell she's my best friend? But I love you. Like, I remember the first time I ever met her and I was really scared of you because you look like a top person. And same with you, I was also scared of you because you look like a top person. What are, you, what are your thoughts on Lakshay? Hmm. My thoughts? Yeah. You're in the same shirt as Lakshay. Okay. Anyways, um, my first thoughts, like impressions for you. <laughs> Probably a tough person that goes to the Guys, gym, that beats up people, but is also nice and has a soft spot. That's why I thought of you. What about now? What are your thoughts on me now? A soft person. Hmm. A soft person. A person that does things that are still girly. Not like Nikhil. That in a you good say, way. Did you say like still girly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not like Nikhil in a good way. It's for you, good. Nikhil, bad. Yeah. And that's it so far. I think that's it because I don't really know you as well. But yeah, that's so far. Hopefully we get to know each other today. Yeah. I am a tough person that beats up people, if you don't know. I'm a soft person. Though. So, what, so what's this going to do? That's for the mic, bro. So what oh, okay. you just put in, it, it's a charging case for the mic. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So I remember last time we started talking about fitness and bodybuilding. Yeah. And then we got cut <laughs> off. <right>? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But no, I love it, bro. I love seeing other people that's what, enthusiastic about fitness because it's so rare to see other brown people yeah, true. into fitness. True. 
So uh, yeah, that's what like I hardly see all my friends. Like as you were saying, all my friends. I mean, it's a different. It's a way what you want to do as well. They've got their own friends circle as and like uh, they get into drinking and social, you know, partying and stuff. I don't, I don't do all that stuff, right? Because mm. if I, <laughs> how'd you get into it, bro? How'd you get into fitness? Ah uh, man, I was. I think uh, I was actually very overweight at one point. I saw that, bro. Your transformation. Was... I had back issues and stuff. And what really triggered me was, I think, uh, once uh, one of my mates actually posted a picture of mine in, in, in a WhatsApp group. I had like a big belly, right? And then I kind of got shamed. Mm. Like that really get, got me there. And it's like, oh crap! I How long do ago something. was this? How? Uh, just like four years back. Four years back, five oh, years back. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, that's when it happened. I mean, he took it as a joke. Oh, and it was a uh, we'll continue like this, bro. Right. We'll continue. Not have any flash photographers. A dance studio would get two people with four left feet between them to host their uh, event. But hey, we're not going to talk about that because Intention Studios is all about inclusivity. And maybe some of you are wondering, what is Intention Studios? Mm, good question. Intention Studios is basically a platform that wants to bring South Asian talent together. You can be creative in any space. To come together to create life, to create art, and to create magic. Um, the dance community has really popped up in the last two years. Thank you, China. Just going stage um, one we've right had now. We just finished first rehearsals. Um, I haven't had anything since working out, and honestly, I don't even know if I still want to go get some energy drinks because someone bought some Sal Patch Kid gummies, which which I was gonna get. Because I've had caffeine already and like honestly I've been thinking what benefit is having caffeine again going to do but we'll see. I don't know. I don't want to put, I don't want to have too much caffeine. That's, that's my thing. I might just stick to Sour Patch for me but I'm also a little bit hungry so yeah. There's that. I'm so indecisive. I don't know. I don't even know how far cold it is from here. If I can be fucked walking that far. Two calls to get that, but <clears throat> maybe not for now. I guess I'll just see how I feel. <sighs> to be honest, I have not been hydrating myself like I need to be, and that's all on me. I bought a water bottle, I haven't been drinking from it. So that's gonna be my next key thing. I just don't wanna drink so much water that I constantly need to pee as performance. <laughs> It's close. So this is the venue. This is what it looks like from the outside. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice in the inside. It looks pretty fancy. It's a pretty quiet area. Like I said before, I doesn't even feel like I'm in Sydney when I'm in this area. If there's a vending machine somewhere here, that would be a game changer. Surely there would be. I'll go check later, but right, for now, I'll be fine. <sighs> so I'm just practicing my splits. I'm doing the, I'm holding my splits position for one minute and then resting for five minutes. I'm gonna hold for one minute, rest for five minutes, hold for one minute. As in my performance, I need to do the splits. So I'm trying to push myself as much as I can and trying to rest because especially when I'm trying to stretch before performance one thing I tend to do is rush my stretching so really taking the time to rest properly will make me perform better so I'm just waiting for the stopwatch to hit five minutes and as soon as it does I'm gonna go back into this position the urge is so real to not wait the full five minutes but I have to wait the full five minutes it's only been two minutes, it's felt like fucking 10 minutes. I need to wait at least five minutes before I can go again. That's the golden rules said by Jojo Mufi. Five minutes. at the back. 
stuck in the middle, under the projector. So it's there, I'm setting up, da da da. How do you feel, final words? Final words? Look, I'm really, really happy. I wouldn't normally be, but Lakshay is here in front of me. And it just makes me happy to find someone that's vegan. Because I hate vegans, so now I can let it out on him. I'm joking, I, I love you, I love you. <laughs> Hello, why am I doing? I need this, nice, nice, T minus, what's the time? How long, when this? 6.38. I'm, I'm gonna plan my caffeine intake exactly 10 minutes before the performance starts. Because if not, I will feel fucking shit. So, 10 minutes, it's 6.38 p.m. at How you feeling, right? Oh man, I'm kind of excited, but a bit nervous as well. Yeah. What about you, bro? I, I'm good, bro. I just this is energy. I haven't eaten anything. Like, I've been vlogging the whole day today, and they know that since gym, I haven't eaten anything because I'll feel sick if I eat before. Yeah. After dance, it's gonna be a feast. It's gonna smash it. Yeah, it's gonna be a smash. Would you like some dick? Yes. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Would you like a dick? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I know your bike, bro. Come on. I know your bike, bro. Please. I, I, I ride bicycles, not bikes. <laughs> Making sure no one makes a stop. No, you can literally tell them to shut up or whatever you want to do. They won't take it personally. They, they can't. Okay? No one should be talking. The audience should not know you guys are even up there. Okay? okay? No one should be like looking back. So make sure none of you guys, including you and Zip, none of you guys are talking. So no noise. No made. noise okay. one bit. Like we shouldn't be like seeing you guys. We shouldn't be here um, whispering. We can hear all the way from up there, right on the stage. If we do, we will come up and we will shout. Out. Just saying. Okay. Yeah? Can you do that me, for uh, favor for me? Uh, here and Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, you and Sip, so make sure you tell Sip as well. I'll tell Sip, yeah. yeah. Thoughts? Final, final thoughts. You guys will do amazing. Come on, come on. Be more. Say something else, come on. Life is, life is very messed up right now. <laughs> Fuck! Shit. I hope you're talking to someone. Wait, how, how, how old are you? 13. 13? Yeah. It's just my friends are messed up, but I count them as my life. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Vegan sour patch coming. Eight pieces is one serving. Twenty-two grams of carbs. Twenty-two grams of carbs. Fifteen point five grams of sugar. Seven milligrams of sodium. Perfect. Quick sugars. Exactly what I need. Um, Eight pieces. I count eight pieces. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, seven. In one whole packet, I don't know, but eight pieces is 22 grams of carbs, 15 grams of sugar. Eight, this is one serve. That's a lot. It's good for like, I have a pre-workout sometimes. Yeah, Get a better pump. Sugar converts to glycogen. And you use glycogen when you dance or do some sort of activity. Especially fast sugar like this burns off super fast. But sugar never... Yeah, no, it doesn't. Only caloric excess converts to fat. It's, okay, so sugar. it's fine. You could literally have 2,500 calories of just sugar and you won't gain weight. Yeah, it's all about calories in, calories out. That's all it is. Nah, bro, don't, don't do that. All, it's all balanced. Calories in, calories out. Oh, really? No, bro, it's me. Oh. And I'll just stop some random thing in the I love it. What am I doing is fine, right? Yeah, but remember, before I grab your hand, I'm gonna grab the sandwich. Because okay. I'm in love with the sandwich, not you. I'm enjoying every one of these. Seven minutes. 
two performance open cup. Guys, because we got to be quiet, we're going to go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, intention, all right? But we're going to whisper it, all right? All right, one, two, three, intention! Biscuit, a bit nervous, but we got this, it's light work. This is good luck, bro. You're going to kill it. Good luck. I'm just so excited for this. Everyone looks so good. It's like a nice throwback to school. Woohoo! <laughs> She's lost her voice. So. Just amazed to see everyone. Oh, yeah. we got it. We got it. We got it. Three, we got it. 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 We got um, it's going boom, 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 boom. But, um... <laughs> we're about to go on. We're all nervous, but we're gonna kill it. We have this, and then I have Smithy's one who's holding the camera. It's gonna be fucking amazing. Let's go. We're gonna kill this, all right? We got this. We're gonna kill this, guys. So he's literally dying two times. Uh, he's gonna... We're gonna kill him. You're gonna kill me. I'm feeling, I'm feeling very, very happy. And I'm feeling... Oh, I'm not a gold digger. What would happen if you followed that path? What would happen if you followed your passion? <laughs>